Welcome to a game called Undisputed. It's a boxing game, and that's basically it. We were planning on fighting each other, but we made our characters in different weight classes, and you can't fight someone in another weight class, unfortunately. So we've decided on fighting legitimate fighters in the real world in those weight classes to see how we would fare. First up, it'll be me versus a guy named Kid. You think this is so fucking funny because I'm around kids sometimes? Watch as you get KO'd first round. Trump's likely right. Your guy is as frail as a crumpled leaf. We will just have to find that out, won't we? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for our tale of the tape. This will be one kid that I can Fighting rightfully abuse. Bantamweight. So here comes Kid Galahad. He's five foot seven with a 66.5 inch reach. Nobody knows who's gonna win. You can have an argument for the winner on both sides, but this is that fight. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. Oh fuck, that sounds hilarious. From the United States of America. The headlines revolving around frail old man being beaten half to death by a Middle Eastern man. You think you know me? Wait until we figure out how to fight each other, then we'll know who is the better president. Winner gets to fight me, since I don't know how else we'd make it work. We should find a fourth person to make some sort of a loser's banquet. So here comes Kid Galahad, born in Qatar, but raised in Great Britain, and he's got a lot of fanfare in his home country. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. So we got someone from a country that heavily censors itself and hides Hamas leaders? To have Joe up against someone like this is too perfect to pass up. Let's just hope Galahad isn't hiding a pistol in his trunks. This bout is scheduled for four rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from the United States of America. Wearing the blue trunks with blue trim. You say my name, goddammit. Fighting out of the blue corner, fighting out of Sheffield, England. Here is a featherweight champion of the world, Kid Galahad! So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time! Todd, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here at this venue. It's going to be something special. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. If I lose to this guy, I will drone strike Qatar with prejudice. Jesus fucking Christ, the match hasn't begun, and you're already talking about war crimes. They ring the bell, and here we go. Damn, Joe landed the first punch. That won't happen often, I bet. This guy's fucking nothing. I've had better fights with my wife. Oh, please don't tell me you hit your wife. Me? Hit Jill? No fucking way. Her words alone cut through me. Whoever this kid is really needs to understand he's basically fighting a skeleton and he's still struggling. Nice job getting that punch through. This is like seeing two people who barely know how to fight go toe to toe. What, too afraid to take a proper punch? Surprised you haven't shattered your knuckles already. Up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy Ow. Oh god, this probably means Joe is getting closer to being knocked out. It doesn't take much to take down an 80 plus year old man and somehow it's not happening yet. I need to think of a better strategy. Perhaps the hottest ticket in town for this fight tonight. You can walk into an arena, be the hero, the pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans. You can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it off, I know it's hard, I can hardly hear you, Todd. You've got to ignore them, get on with your job. These commentators are super cringe, but it's their job. Come on, take out the old man already. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Just misses with that uppercut. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. If heaven involves two fighters getting absolutely nowhere, then I wonder what hell is like. Seeing Joe never getting another good hit in makes me think why he even wanted to do this. Not so tense anymore, trying to loosen things up, I like it. One lucky punch and then a monotony of zero progression. Makes me wonder if either of them will get knocked out. This fighter's always on their toes, trying to get their opponent rattled, get them off kilter, get them out of their rhythm. This is what makes outside fighters so good. Their footwork is second to none, it's as fast as their hands. It's like every time I go in for a punch or a jab, he immediately knows about it. Except for the occasional brain dead moment. Yo, change up your shit! You're not my dad! Just misses right up the cup. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. I don't know how you'd consider this close. We barely did anything to each other. It makes me wonder if it'll be like this for both me and Obama's fight. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. I don't know if they're talking about you or the Galahad guy. Well, let's see if next round changes anything. I want to land at least one knockout blow. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, 
If it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what Fuck you've you. been doing because you've won that hands down. Ow. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. This is starting to get plenty interesting. Don't disappoint me just yet. I don't plan on it. Nice punch. I don't need you to tell me that you're expecting me to lose immediately. Exactly, although it is shocking how you haven't collapsed yet. I'm doing the same shit I did last round. Fucking autopilot, man. Knows the jab, but it doesn't I'm score. amazed you haven't been sent to a hospital, Joe. You may not need me to judge you, but I will mock you if you go down and stay down. This counterpuncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then we'll strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Can these commentators stop being so fucking annoying? I'd love to tune them out, but they rape your headphones with pointless shit. You hear the same thing with most sports games, though. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to... Hey, sometimes the best thing you can do is to grab your opponent. They need to be worried that the referee's not going to throw them out the ring and disqualify them both. He hugged me without consent first. Nice counter shot. Come on, make him bleed. The warm-up to this fight was another fight with Joe and some other schmuck, and Joe actually managed to bust the middle part of the guy's eyebrows. Yeah, except that other guy was a pure pussy, and it wasn't a challenge for me. Here, though, this guy is now. like a wall with Fight gloves. Differently. Something or someone has to give at some point, or else we're watching a nonsensical fight. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring Ow. a little bit. Here. Joe, I swear, if those punches make you lose, I'm going to make fun of you for weeks. Don't you already do that? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. If I were a judge, I'd grab a pillow until someone got knocked out. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. One league being the fucking retirement home league and the other being too afraid to kick Hamas out of Qatar in fear of retaliation. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. It's the same shit every time. Fucking give up. You can tell the crowd's sick of this already since nothing's really happening. I just noticed something. Is the crowd full of fucking PS2 rendered models? From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what, next round, you're getting it. You're getting in a kitchen sink. Damn, that's kind of unsettling. Steel City can afford high-quality boxer models, but not crowd ones? Weird. They ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head... Oh my fucking down. God. Stop hugging me like how your father should have held you. I can just imagine if Joe fell asleep in his arms like that. Would be fucking hysterical. It means they're tired or it means they don't know what to do. Wow, actual fighting and not just hitting glove to glove for once. This is the moment that I will knock his ass out and claim victory. Generally speaking, you don't watch heavyweights to see a boxing match. You want to see a fist fight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around them. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox the fight and beat them on points. So they think Joe can outlast this guy? I mean, give them credit for being optimistic. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I gotta respect both of them, more than happy. Sorry ladies, the Riz Master's having a bit of a difficult time knocking this guy out. Give me a minute. Ugh, the Riz Master, such a dumbass name. Trying to fight like Roy Jones Jr. now, bouncing on the toes. Fuck you. Either this guy has the hardest skull on the planet or Joe's punches are just that weak. Looks like they're going to mix up their strategy a little bit here. I don't see either of them winning or losing. Finding an opening is worse than finding a PS5 for sale. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. I'm finna bust a knuckle in his fucking face. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Stop touching tips with your fucking gloves and hit him hard to win. I think they're both fucking done here. Can't even get close enough to land hits without hitting gloves. So the judges What? I clearly put on a better show than this asshole. No Fuck you, I call no rigged. Man, don't I know that feeling? You know what? I think it's my turn to step into the ring and take on one of these fighters. I specifically chose Sugar Ray Leonard since the man's a fucking legend and it would be my honor to fight him. Dude, no disrespect to your fighting skills or anything, but Sugar Ray's super good. 
and he'll likely knock you on your ass before you can blink twice for help. At least he'd put on a better show than me. As expected, not a ticket left, ladies and gentlemen. We are sold out at the Grand Theater. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time for our tale of the tape. He'll be fighting as welterweights, maximum 67 kilos. And he'll be going up against Sugar Ray Leonard, 65.8 kilos. He's 175 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. This is it. This is that fight. This is that argument. I don't know what to expect. It was kind of hard to get my character right. I have gray hair now, kind of, so I thought I'd try to make it work. Still an honor to fight this man. This is not going to take long. I'm calling it now. From the United States of America. If you can land one good punch against Leonard, I will be impressed. If he doesn't fall on his ass the first second the match starts, I'll be impressed. Watch what you say. We'll be going up against one another once we figure out how. Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the greatest all-time one world titles in five weight classes, and he fights out of Wilmington, North Carolina. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The fans are going mad for this. Yeah, they want to watch Obama get absolutely blasted from this man. This bout is scheduled for four rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from the United States of America, wearing the white trunks with red trim. I guess custom guys don't get any attempt for their name. Hiding out of the blue corner, presenting one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five-division champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. Welcome inside this unique environment, a beautiful theater, Ready for a fist fight. This is an absolute pleasure to be here. You're going to see all the action, and you can say, I was there. This is just one of those places. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. Again, one good punch, and I'll consider this a good match. Fuck off, my guy. Fucking undermining me. Here's the bell me. to start the round. Fuck. Those counter punches after. Wow, not even 30 seconds into the match. Ha, 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 ha. Fuck oh, off. That was a fluke. Shut up. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Let's go again, motherfucker. I didn't hear no bell. Can't believe they managed to beat the count, but that could be the last hurrah. He's up, up, but for how long? Look at him. On the heels. Look at him. There's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. And he's out of there. I have to admit, you're putting up a half-decent fight. I don't need your acknowledgement. Now I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. Fuck. At some point, the corner needs to decide we have to protect our fighter. Does he know he's hurt him? Look at him. That back foot went. It completely shifted. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Fucking cool it, my guy. What did you expect when you chose a man with zero losses and so many wins? At least you're not being KO'd in one hit. Undertaker! We're not fucking done here. So they're back on their feet, but let's see how much they have left in the tank. Oh, he's up. I I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a show. I'm just waiting for the inevitable now. What? Can they finish it? God damn it, I think and that's it. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Oh, he's down, he's down. Is he going to get up? He's staggering. Well, at least you can tell your husband that you fought against a simulation of Sugar Ray Leonard. Joe, if you win against Donald in a future match, you're being my next fucking opponent. So time Watch to go your celebrate mouth. after another knockout win here. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night. Well, I guess it's my turn now. Who'd you pick for your opponent, Don? You remember when Logan Paul called out Tyson Fury for a fight? You're fighting fucking Logan Paul? Lol. Oh, hell no. I want to see just how dangerous Tyson is. I've got boxer. high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. 
And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. Most divisions have a maximum weight, heavyweights a minimum weight of 200 pounds. And across the ring from him, Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. You want to get out of the way because when you've got a brawler that's in your face that wants to walk through you like a truck, you've just got to use your speed, use that reach, use that height, and keep them off you because if they get up close and personal, you're going to have no ribs left. And you thought my pick with Sugar Ray Leonard was bad. Donald, this guy's going to see you as a fat piece of steak. Well, he's just going to have to work towards taking a bite out of me, won't he? I have almost no expectations for Donald other than seeing him bounce all over the ring when Tyson uses him as a bouncy ball. From the United States of America. Don, I may have questionable intelligence, but you spelled your name wrong. Apparently my first name is considered a bad word. Not sure why. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Just take note, take note. Look at the reach. Look how much they're giving away in this fight. Me and him are both rocking dad bods today. Uh, no, you're wrong. He has a dad bod. You have the body of Homer J. Simpson times two. Couldn't have said it better myself. This bout is scheduled for six rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from the United States of America. Wearing the white trunks with red trim. Prepare to get fired. Fighting out of the blue corner from Manchester, England. And standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Yeah, don't so dead. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Todd, all I can say, heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. What a great venue, and what a great matchup. Cannot wait for this one. Donald looks like a fucking child here. That look makes you look horrible. It was kind of hard to replicate myself in this game. Oh, well, this is what I'll work with. I'm predicting Donald will go down in less hits than I do. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Fuck off! Counter shot lands. Good one. Fuck off! Whoa, whoa, and you Are you fucking down serious? Forward. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues the count. Oh, he's down, he's down. Is he going to get up? He's staggering. Not going to lie, I do believe you went down faster than I did. Fuck off. You know my new slogan, which I called Never Surrender? With those cringy-ass shoes, gross. They're back on their feet, but how long will they stay there? He's up, but, but for how long? Look at her. On the heels. Look. And the I fucking the damn count. it. Ten this is just masochism at this point. I don't see point. any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. I see many shots like that. A simple, simple short shot. Put the fighter down. Like I said, never surrender. a good start to the round for this guy. So he's back up, but is he just delaying the inevitable? That is a shot. They're always looking for that kick. What the fuck? Down, he didn't even do anything. That goes to show how little you meant to Tyson. Barely even made him try. The referee's down and watching him close. Come on, make it. You can do it. Hard to believe Joe had the most balanced match out of all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. A knockout victory? That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again. We all knew Donald would get his ass beat super quick.